If I were to have met Dr. Julie when I was 13, or I would have gotten to where I am at a much younger age. <laughs> You know, as a kid, I was naturally good at running. I was always the one that won the mile fitness tests and I wanted to beat all the boys and I did beat all the boys and I guess I had that natural gift to run, but I didn't have all the tools to get to where I'm at now. In high school, I was a standout on the track and I made it to state almost every year. Then I was recruited to the University of Texas at San Antonio on a full scholarship and became a 10-time conference champion. Post-collegiately, I improved on the track every year, but it just wasn't good enough to compete at the Olympic level. It wasn't until I met Dr. J that she helped me deal with the things I was struggling with. You know, learning how to eat right, learning how to get enough sleep, learning how to train my body right. And, you know, there's a lot of failures that come along with that, injuries. I was injured several times in college, you know, with a fractured spine and um, fractured foot. And so you go through some really hard times. I had a college baseball player, you know, he was very negative, extremely hard on himself. After he made an error, you know, he would just shut down. And after our work together, he really just changed his perception of mistakes. Instead of looking at mistakes like they're just emotional wound, for example, it was just accepting his humanity. And, and in a sport like baseball, I mean, it's a game of errors, you know. Uh, and so he really changed his perception and he didn't have that emotional response anymore. And he was able to play so much freer in the zone. I really used to think that I could just lift weights, you know, take supplements and, and work harder and that was going to get me to my goal and that didn't. I didn't, you know, I had several years where I was doing all those things and it wasn't getting me to where I needed to go. And when I met Dr. J was when I started working on the mental tools I needed and that's when my game went to the next level. I would tell an athlete to call me immediately because people spend so much money on things they don't need. I mean, the cars and the gadgets and the fancy clothes. But to me, the mental game is, is life, it's everything. I tell people a few small changes make a huge difference. And if you don't know what's going on, if you don't have self-awareness, then you're never gonna be able to know what's going on. You can't make those changes. I lacked self-confidence and that was a big part of why I couldn't compete at the level I wanted to. So she helped me with the tools I needed to get to the next level. And since working with her in 2015, I ran a personal best on the track almost every time I stepped on the track. And I ended up making the final of the US Championships in the Women's 800, which qualified me for my first US team that I competed in in Costa Rica and I qualified for the 2016 Olympic trials. And I believe all of that would not have been possible if it wasn't for Dr. Julie. I wanna tell people to don't wait, make the call now. You know, if you're a high school student and you wanna play in college, you know, there is so much competition out there. And I guarantee that coming to a sports psychologist will give you an edge and a weapon because you can change so much. And why not? Why not give that to yourself? Thank you, Dr. J, for working with me all these years. I'm really thankful for you helping me go through all that I've gone through to get to where I'm at now. And I wouldn't be who I am now if it weren't for you. So I'm very thankful for that. Sorry, I'm just, I can't even say what I want to say.